Hi everyone, directly from Portugal. I'm Andrea and I'm a PR and marketing teacher. And I'm also proud to be one of the nominees for the Skype Savvy Challenge in order to become a Skype ambassador. On the past weeks, I've been thinking on how to share with the world something really interesting and original that show how Skype and social media can bring us together. And I think I came up with a really strong idea for you to understand better, you need to see this amazing short film right here. Check it out. So after you saw this video, here's the results. An interview with the Sean Hickton, director of What's On Your Mind. Here it is. Hello, Sean. Thank you so much for accepting this interview with me via Skype. Uh, first of all, and for the few ones who don't know you yet, can you tell, tell us who you are and what you do? Uh, my name is Sean Hickton, and I'm a a director, a film director. I uh, I direct commercials and I also direct f short films and then in the future feature films. So. Okay, and Sean, can you please tell us a little bit about your background as a director and how has social media influ influenced your own life? Well, um, I, you know, I started out making uh, short films with my two other brothers. That's why we're called Hickton Bros. Uh, and we kind of just continued to make films together. And then we all sort of went into um, the film industry together in different positions. So I, you know, I'm the oldest, so it was natural for me to pick up the camera and film and, and just direct. And my brother produced, uh, you know, and he's now producing Andrew. And then Steven, my youngest brother, he's... Uh, he's a visual effects artist. So we all have different positions and we just kind of together just went into the film industry uh, together. Now, when it comes to social media and how it's influenced my life, I don't know. I think um, I think it's been, uh, well, in, during these past few days, it's definitely influenced my life more than it ever has. 
just because of the exposure that the film has gotten and also the opportunities that uh, you know are coming with that so i'd say that's a very positive thing uh but absolutely yeah uh, you know on the other hand what inspired the movie <laughs> when it comes to is also social media and i think i have a pretty common uh, sort of experience with social media i think i think i'm pretty pretty normal when it comes to every you know likes and views and um and i you know yeah i, I think it's uh, it's influenced me like it has everybody else maybe you know just yeah everyday life you know okay and what's really the meaning of what's on your mind? How did you come up with this short film idea? Um, that was a very, it, I don't know, I just, I, I was on my news feed one day and just scrolling and I just saw one status update that was, you know, oh, you know, I'm, this is my new girlfriend, yay, or, you know, this is my new car, yay, and then, you know, I was like, oh, going on vacation, yay, yay, and there's all these, like, these, wonderful status yeah <laughs> you know i think we've all been there and i was just like oh my gosh like you know when does it stop you know like can't everybody can't be having a wonderful day today and i was feeling you know bad about my own life and i was like oh come on and then suddenly the idea popped in my head and i was like wow that's actually a pretty good idea for like a short film and i was looking to make something because i always just want to make something and it just popped into my head and i just yeah it, it, the idea was there almost instantly I just wrote it down and then we started making it. I have to say, when I saw your short film from the first time, it was like an awakening, oh, an awakening to me, almost a reality check. Was this your intention towards the viewers when you did I it? Think, um, I think in anything that anybody does, you know, as, as a filmmaker, you're, you want to show an idea. You know, you, you want to create some sort of uh, reaction. Uh, but honestly, I have to say the first initial thing was like, I think this is just, I, I just thought, yeah, that's funny. You know, it just starts from an honest place. It's just, wow, that's funny. That makes sense to me. And then I think after you think about it and you start working on the film, you discover the layers that are in it. But that, that's the great thing about ideas. They're initially just, just the seed that comes into your mind and then it starts growing and it kind of elaborates. So I think it kind of dawned on me that it that that I was maybe common to something. Okay. I also find it, find it very amusing that this short film is having so many likes and shares. It's ironic. Yes. Do you also feel the same? And did you ever think you would get so many likes, so many virality? Uh, it's definitely ironic. Uh, but I also find that the most funny stories are ironic. Uh, you know, the short film is ironic, the idea is ironic, you know. Uh, so obviously it would be fitting that the success of the short film is ironic. Um, but no, I have to say, you know, I, I did think that we had an idea that people, I mean, we had a short film that people liked. That was our, I mean, we showed it to people and just our friends and colleagues and they seemed to like, yeah, yeah it's, it's good, yeah, it's good. So you, I had an idea that it was going to be liked. So I said, all right, let's just put it on the web, just see what happens. And also, you are exposing a beautiful life that everyone seems to want and to like to live in on this beautiful life. Do you think your film will drive people towards being more meaningful and truthful on their way to share their everyday life? Um, I, think, I think the film is a wake-up call, maybe, or a reality check, like you call it. Um, but it's like anything else. It's like you... you um, if somebody tells you, hey, man, you know, you got to, you know, you know, come on, wake up, you know, you're, you're doing this, you're doing this. And in, you know, it's, it's something that you have to continue to sort of remind yourself of, because I think that's what we are. So I think, yeah, it could spark something. But if we don't continue to sort of remind ourselves about it, then we'll eventually forget it again and go back into our bad habits. So you have to continue to remind yourself. So, I, you know, I think that it will definitely make a wake-up call for some people, you know, but I think that we have to kind of take a step back and look at it ourselves and be like, I need to take responsibility to do something about it. That brings me to another question, if you allow of me. Of course. As a, social yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> as a social media professional, I have to ask, yeah. but do you think it will happen to social networks if 
everyone was really sincere about their posts, brand pages included. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's, I, you know, uh, I don't think it's, it's good in any ways uh, to kind of go any extreme is never really that good. I mean, here's, you know, if you meet somebody on the street, right, and you say, hey, you know, how are you doing? And they, and they answer, fine. You know, behind that fine, there might be a divorce. You know, he's just going through a divorce. So, you know, you're hiding. It's a human thing, right? So we're kind of hiding that. And I think that social media kind of makes us want to be positive, but it sort of pushes up into an extreme. And I don't have an answer. I'm just saying that this is this is what it is. But you know, maybe maybe it's uh, maybe some more privacy is what's needed. You know, not you know, we don't have to. I don't have to see what you ate. You know, for dinner, <laughs> you know, for lunch, dinner, yeah. breakfast. I don't have to see. Uh, you know, oh, the wonderful kiss that you shared with your girlfriend or something. It's like, come on. It's like, you know, some selection. I think selection is the key. Yeah, the selection. <laughs> and at the end, they had all post action button yeah. is like the great finale, on my opinion. Mm. Do you believe that people prefer to see only happy and most likely fake po posts? Um, I, think, I think there's a truth there. Uh, at least in my, I mean, I kind of took it from my own life where there was, you know, somebody on my Facebook that was just going on and on and on about, you know, and I was getting depressed about her depressive life and I just went, <laughs> done. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, uh, I was like, yeah, that's, uh, I think we're all guilty of, of that. Yeah. Okay. And what about the reactions to your video? What's the general feedback that you are having? I think the general feedback is that it's, I think, the, yeah, the general feedback is that it's positive, that most people like it, and that most people uh, get it. Uh, obviously, there's always going to be somebody who doesn't like it or doesn't get it. Uh, but, you know, that's just the way it is with anything. So, yes. Yeah. And can you imagine a world waking up without Internet? How would your first day without Facebook would be? Would you run 20 kilometers, <laughs> kilometers for example? Um, I don't know. I think, I think we're living in, we're so, we're got, we've gotten so used to internet and accessibility and to be able to look up something so quickly that I think if we would have a problem with that. I, I would probably have a problem with, you know, not being able to Google something or not being able to, oh, you know, um, but maybe that would be a good thing. I don't know. Maybe maybe it would be healthy in times, you know, for a certain amount of time. I'm not sure. Okay. Thank you so much for your interview with me. And we here in Portugal, we are always seeing your videos, sharing with friends, and we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Tom. Thank you. <laughs> it's a blessing. All right. <laughs>